I didn't see you there. I was just trying out a new ramen recipe. But welcome to another noodly episode of Cooking with Ramen. We have such a great show planned for you today, and I'm so excited that you could be here to enjoy it with us. Today we're going to be making the Ramen Colada a la mode, which is a delicious traditional smoothie that comes to us from the monks of the Himalayas. The first thing we're going to need is a blender. Now any blender will do, but studies have shown that the more money you spend on a blender, the more of a pretentious bastard you are. Also, I would suggest finding a blender that comes with a speed of blade rotation increaser knob. You should also make sure that you have a cup handy to pour the smoothie into after you're done. Unless you want to drink it straight out of the blender. <laughs> now, first things first, we're going to take our ramen, we're going to open the bag, and just put that straight in there. Now, it's very important that you make sure you don't accidentally cook the ramen before you put it in the blender, because it's the ramen in its raw form that's going to give this smoothie its characteristic crunch. And as you can see, this ramen is very uncooked, which is just the way we want it. Next, we'll be adding in what the Himalayan monks called the Komokataya, or as we call it, the frosted cinnamon bun. And we'll just drop that right in there. Now, the monks believed that it was the spice of this smoothie that brought them favor with their gods. So we're gonna add some spice now. I've got here some Tony's red pepper seasoning. Just a few shakes though, because we don't want too much favor with the gods. <laughs> The thing that brings this smoothie all together is the ice cream sandwich. Now it's important to make sure that you leave your ice cream sandwich out for about five minutes before adding it to the blender. That way the ice cream will just be starting to melt and it'll bond wonderfully with the raw noodles. And just for a little kick, we're gonna add one whole dill pickle with both ends bitten off. Finally, we'll just add some ice then we're ready to rock. Now, doesn't this just look delicious? Can we get a shot from up top? Oh yeah. So now you and your family can enjoy this timeless classic.